Welcome to Disneyland. Okay, good morning everybody. We are just leaving our hotel right now, the Clarion, and it's walking distance to Disney. And today we have our reservation for Disneyland, but we do have a park hopper if we need it. And we do have the Genie Plus today. And we're on our way to Disneyland. Say good morning. Everybody, this is our dad. Say hello. And we are ready to go. So we're just coming up to Disneyland right there and then we'll go into that way through security. It's about 10-15 minute walk to Disneyland from our hotel. Just depends also on the stoplights if you get stopped waiting for the light to go so you can cross some streets. But other than that, it's a very easy walk. And we just walk the whole side, left side of the road all the way down to Disneyland. So it's 7 o'clock right now and this is the line to get in for security and I'm not sure what time they'll start letting us in through security but there's the line. Okay, it's going on about 7.10 and we are moving. Okay, it's 7.15 now, we got through security and we are lined up ready to go in. Thank you. Okay, we are in. We've got our tickets. I got Miss Incredible. Who you get? We got cards. I got that. This, this is our backup. I got Mickey. DJ got Mickey. And we've got Mickey Mouse with the mask on. So cute. We are walking Main Street. Look at all the Halloween decorations and there's the pumpkin. This is our first time we've ever been to Disneyland for the Halloween fall decorations. Already aligned to get your picture taken with the pumpkin. I know both sides have it. So this side is a winky face. I think the other side is a smile. Disneyland. So for people who stay in the Disneyland park hotels, the three here in California, they do get early entry for 7.30 to 8, but everyone else has to get in at 8. So that's us because we don't have the Disneyland hotels. So they can go to Tomorrowland or Fantasyland for early entry, I think. And we are going to start off hopefully in Adventureland for Indiana Jones, one of our favorite rides at Disneyland. All right, it's almost eight o'clock. Getting ready to rope drop Indiana Jones in for Adventureland. Dropping indie. There is the cast members right there. And so that's the front of the line and we didn't do too bad. Got stuck behind a wheelchair, but other than that we did good. Yay! Getting ready to board. We got row one. Thank you. All right. Oh. Okay, here we go. DJ's driving. Are you there? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come
you're on your own. the exit of Indiana Jones is this vehicle and I believe they did use this in the movie. All right next up we are going on pirates. Said about a five minute wait. There's the Blue Bayou restaurant. can come in line. Okay, the line's moving now. It's 9, 10. For the story that you were about to be told began the holiday words of old. Happens when two holidays collide. Welcome, my friends, to our Christmas delight. It's time for our holiday tale to begin. While we tell you a tale about dear Sandy Claus. Was the nightmare before Christmas that crawled through the house. Not a creature was peaceful, not even a mouse. Gracias. 
Okay, next up we are going to ride into Small World. Alright, this is what we love about Small World. All the Disney characters are incorporated. So we got Alice and the White Rabbit. Okay, so we just met Merida and we're walking back towards Adventureland because we have our first lightning lane. Um, we went ahead and got it for Indiana Jones again because we didn't want those times to book out. Okay, so we're getting ready to redeem our first lightning lane, Indiana Jones. There it is, so 1025 to 1125. You still have an hour to use it if you want. Okay, so our time was for 10.25 and it is 10.40 now. So we wait about 15 minutes, but we're in the front row again. And we're gonna enjoy Indiana Jones. All right, I've got the steering wheel this time. And we're front row. trees in the way. Yes, they're over there. No, we only weigh like 10. 10? 
15? How long have we waited? About 10 minutes. Yeah, and it said 30, so okay, that's good. But yes. So at Disneyland, it's honeycombs. And there's three rows, so it can do six people. and they've got this cute new section here next to the river boats and Big Thunder area and we're gonna be getting ready to meet Maribel. At least this is new since we've been here. It, since they changed it to the Enchanted Wish from the Snow White Scary ride. So this will be a first for us to see the new changes. All right, and we're gonna get Doc.
I'm all afraid this week when I was just a lad. We probably gave you know this week and told me I was bad. But then one day I learned the world is maybe I can know. The biggest bird you've ever heard of is the South Pole. Alright, so now we're headed towards Star Tours because we have a lightning lane for that. I'm certain you have a wonderful life. I get it, baby. I'm supposed to report any suspicious looking humanoids, but you all look suspicious to me. to lunch. It's almost 1.30 and everywhere it's very packed. All right we're gonna check out the new store here. Oh they've got the beignet ears. Here. Right, we got a jacket here almost there. Okay, so next up is we have reservations for Cafe Orleans. Oh. Alright, here is the menu. Alright, we've got our mint jewel. The Monte Cristo. Love the square trees here next to Sigmund's castle. And then we've got the wishing well over here and Snow White. Okay, next up is Alice in Wonderland. Oh, 
Next up is Peter Pan's flight. Continue moving all the way forward and keep our arms hands up. Have you seen supporters of the resistance here? All right, next up we've got Millennium Falcon. Okay, so we have a lightning lane for Millennium Falcon. This is going to be our dad's first time on the Millennium Falcon. Hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of Coaxia. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. There's Boba Fett. So Kimmy and I just got a scan with Boba Fett, but DJ's trying to follow him so he can get a scan. We think this is a new cup. All right, we're just walking around, checking out the stores um, in Star Wars here. All right, so we're in the Droid Depot, and this hoodie is new, at least to me and Kimmy. And and then now, I know this isn't very new, but it's, it's the first time since we've been here. You can build him now. We've got a lot of different and new shirts that we see here, and new items. Like nobody over here either. Look at him, he's just waiting for a friend. Show me your best trick. Woo, good job. We are not flying in right now, but if you'd like to take a portrait with us. All right. When I was born before the world famous 
Jungle Cruise. My name is Ryan, and I'll be the skipper for as far as I would like. You know, birth is a really good example of what happens if you stay in the shower for too long. You'll turn into an elephant. You know, these gorillas seem to be monkeying around, which is very unappealing. Like banana jokes? Well, I got quite a bunch. And look, they left the headlights on. They are so selfish. It's gonna drain the battery. Well, give it up for Bobo. I think he's doing a pretty good job. Now say goodbye to Bobo, because you will never see him again. But I will in seven and a half minutes. <laughs> but joke's on you! Those are apes. How am I going to ever do my job? That's completely bananas. I said I love banana jokes. I didn't say they were funny. Or feeling. Now coming. But now, folks, the moment that you've all been waiting for. The eighth wonder of the world. The one. The only. The backside of water. And if you look to your right, the front side of rock. You know, it's pretty marvelous. And now uh, for the scariest part of the journey, the return to civilization. Give yourselves a round of applause. You just survived the jungle cruise. Okay, so we had a lightning lane booked for Big Thunder earlier, but it closed down. But we got a multi-pass. And... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. We got a multi-pass, but we're trying to save it for when it reopened, and Big Thunder reopened, so we're using our lightning lane for that. And it's going on 6.40 now. the camera but Kimmy and I slide so much in the bar yeah. that we slam into each other when we turn on this ride. Oh, the castle at night looks so beautiful. All right next up we have Mr. Toad. <laughs>
Okay, so we just stopped at Maurice's Treats right before they closed at 8 and we got the garlic twist and the churro donut. Mmm, looks good. Alright, next up is Dumbo. Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> After all, my friends, this is Okay, next up we have a lightning lane for Astro Blasters. So we're getting ready to load for Astro Blasters and something different here in Disneyland is you can actually pick the gun up and shoot it. It's not stationary like the one in Florida. Alright, so it's the villain dance party. And we got the Queen of Hearts and the Cheshire Cat. We've never seen him before. And the Cheshire Cat. We are going to do the Wonderland Walk. Okay, so next up is Autopia. Oh, there goes the monorail. Just going for a nightly drive here on Autopia. And if you made it this far in the video, we just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch. We really appreciate it. Okay, so for the villain party, they do switch out. So right now it's Captain Hook and Mr. Smee.
right, so our last lightning lane is for Space Mountain tonight. It is almost 11.30, and I think we're gonna end the night with Space Mountain.